Bananas, am I right? Look at this sucker. It's green and it's brown and it's a little bit yellow. So we'll just see about that. Today I want to teach you about my very favorite physics issue. And this is Newton's third law. Newton, super bright guy, let's spell it right, okay? Newton's third law said, well, it's typically phrased like this. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And people use this to, um, <laughs> to say stupid things like, if you have a baby and you take away a lollipop from the baby, then the baby will cry. Right, sure, of course it will, but that has nothing to do with Newton's third law. There are things that happen and then other things happen as a result of that, but that's not Newton's third law. So I hate, I absolutely hate that presentation. Newton's third law is not about actions and reactions because actions cause reactions. And that is not at all the way to understand Newton's third law. In fact, Newton's third law these things happen at exactly the same time. Here's what I want to say, Newton's third law is. If there's a force on, from object one on object two, then there's a force on object two, well, sorry, from object two on object one. These two forces are the same strength but opposite directions. This is Newton's third law and you should never accept any substitute for that phrasing right there. What this says is, a force has a Newton's third law paired force. And I mean this to be the most universal statement that I've ever made to you. In fact, I wanna say that a force cannot exist unless the other force exists at the same time. So this presents all kinds of problems. Like, I want you to grab a piece of paper and I want you to try to hit that piece of paper like as hard as you can. Like, yeah, really hit that, boom, hit that piece of paper. Does it hurt your hand? Do I have lots of bruises on my hand right here? No, and that's because the paper cannot hit back. So I can't hit the paper. That's Newton's third law. This is really deep. It also means that if I hit, ow, dang it. If I hit the table, then the table can hit back and therefore I get hurt. It's the same kind, ah, why do I keep doing this? It's the same kind of punch as the paper, but the paper doesn't hurt, yet, the table does because the table can hit back and therefore I can hit the table. So the thing is, when your brother says, he hit me, it's only because your brother hit you also. And if your brother says, he hit me first, that's a lie because at the exact same instant that your fist touched his face, his face was acting right back on your fist and the only reason your fist hurt is because his face hit you. So you can tell your mom that it also works with principals and assistant principal. This is very trouble in the hall. You just say, hey, Newton's third law guarantees that we hit each other at the same time. And I want to, you know, I'm kind of being silly, but I'm kind of not. I kind of want to say that you can't ever say that one force caused another because they both exist at the exact same moment. So whether it was a car backing into me or me running into that car, you can't say that because there's no way for one to hit the other without the other hitting the one at the same time. This is very deep. It applies to every force that has ever existed in the whole universe. And if you don't like this, well, Huh, I'll give you a reason why you might not like this. This is a very, very big problem because I'm saying that every force in the whole universe has an exact opposite force. And I also know that net forces cause accelerations. So the issue that I've got here is if every force is paired with an equal and opposite force, if every force has another force that's pointing the exact same direction at the exact same strength and acts for the exact same amount of time, how can anything move? When I was a young lad, I was taught this. I was taught Newton's third law by a very clever physics teacher and he never really told me how stuff can move. So this bugged me for a year. I was very angry for a whole year because I looked around and saw stuff moving, yet I also kind of gathered that Newton's third law was true and I was completely baffled for a year, which is probably why I went into physics because this is a very weird problem. The answer is on this sheet of paper. How the heck can stuff 
accelerate if every force is paired with an equal and opposite force all the time and has since the creation of the universe. The universe says that one force is equal to another force and their opposite directions always. Wow. Figure that out. Post in the comments.